Hello and welcome to Summertime D&D. Sorry. Um, I am here with uh, the survivors of the party um, from season two. That's right. Carl, of course, playing uh, Rayloff half here, right. the That's tiefling that. bard. And Max uh, playing Drake, the human fighter and temple guardian for the Temple of Busaik in the town of Dariolar Shari. It's amazing that I can remember my Darli Ralal Shari. Dariolar Shari. Darli yes. Shari. And then, of course, Heather playing Milo, the halfling druid. Our guest at this table, you may recognize from Carl's game. Oh God, wow. This is Beecher wow. Dunn. And okay. to join the summer sessions, Beecher is going to be playing uh, Grimble, who is a dwarven fighter. Yeah. So, um, hashtag bitch in summer. Now, you guys, uh, through the season two adventures, you gained a level. So, what we're going to do in this episode Finally. is we're going to level you guys up. And I thought it would be valuable. Um, some of our viewers are newer to the game and they might enjoy learning how this process goes. So, we this don't know episode, how this process goes. yeah, and you guys are. So, it's going to be great. But before we get to that, guys, I have another special. Oh my That's God. right. One of our friends and supporters, Vance has Thank sent you. us a package. Now, yeah. I don't know what's in this. I have not opened it. Don't show the address. So we're going to open it live. Oh my god, can I open it? Um, yes, but you before you open it, I want to give the, the context. No, so I just Vance, can't read. <laughs> Vance watched season two, and he marveled at how much we we we're drooled dumb. over the Paladin role-playing dice. Because they're he, amazing. Okay. Neil from Paladin so dice. Vance yeah, Paladin. wanted to take this challenge upon himself. He is sending us this gift from Skull Splitter Dice. Oh. Because Vance believes that these are going to be the new magic dice. Neil versus oh. Vance, deathmatch. Yeah. Let's so go. I'm going to pass this over to Heather for the Heather All cam. Right. Heather, you're going to open it up okay. and then pass it out. You know, and Heather. let us know what we got. Here. So oh, this one's way. easier it's to open. Red Carl. Are on. That oh my God! Wait, on us. there's like a lot. Whoa. Wait, what? All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God! Wait, there's uh, a sticker. Those are dice. Bag dice. Okay. Bag, yeah. They said, "Bill, thank you for your business." Adventure awaits. It was wow. really just charged. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> because he. Let me see that. Thank you for no, the debit card. No, it's because he ordered it and like sent it to us. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's awesome. Bill, thank you for. So Vance. like the people oh think that like you. Vance is the man. Holy crap! All right, I Max, know. open that up and hand out a bag to each person. Oh, those are yeah, Max, these, Hand out the big bag like... to each person. Whoa, those are so shiny. So this again, this is a gift from Vance, one of our our friends and supporters. Um, Wait, I want a bag. Oh, and these are the from board. Skull Splitter oh. Dice. Wait, I don't know what's in here either. They come in a nice bag Hold with up. the Skull Splitter logo. Dave cut my, there you go. Skull Splitter <laughs> logo on there. And what dice did Bill get? Oh, oh my god, it's all these little things. Green. Oh my god. That's the money. I got Whoa, the wait, what? Oh, is that like a... <gasps> oh, wait. baby. What? Oh, Whoa. That is Oh my god. Sick. Uh -oh. Game on. Uh-oh. Game and on. And they're like blue. Okay, so... Wait, hold, stop. Sick. Like, so Vance oh, just took this competition card. to a whole new level. Fuck, they sent us. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I got really excited. They sent us a sticker. All right, you know what that where that has to Can go I put on, on my your laptop? forehead. I, Heather, open your <laughs> player's handbook to the okay. front. Okay. And where Sorry. I wrote in. Um, Sorry, mom. I, my mom watches these episodes. She's gonna yell at me. Put that sticker nice and centered there. Okay. Okay. So this mom, this must be more. I think there's more. No. no. So this is no, clearly the like premium skull splitter dice. It comes in <laughs> this like nice sorry, little mom. case. I just got really excited. And let's feel. I think. <gasps> wow. I think I know why. Vance Wait, Bill. To like take center, this center top, these or like feel center as of the heavy. book. Carl, let me feel. put your hands up. Both hands, Carl. Oh my God, these wow. are really heavy. They're like, aren't they kind of like the uh, paladin dice? I didn't get a. Oh yeah, I didn't get a. They're like, they're like Bill, meteor. Bill, um, center oh, wow, like yeah. top or yeah, center, center of the top. book? Center top. That's oh, what I was thinking. these are sick. Okay, do okay, you think that's these center? are yeah, sick. All right. Well, listen, this is uh, wow. way beyond oh. like oh what I ever expected. Yeah. I thought he was gonna send us like, oh wow, like one like die. a set of dice. Yeah. So, thank you, Vance. Wow. You could hey, wait. kill. You Dave, Dave, cut to my camera more. and zo zoom in on this. That's not, you can't. Can yeah, you? you? Can, can you do that? There's no camera operator you right can't. now. We have a skeleton crew. It's Dave and Brian. That's it. Brian's Brian, never done sound. Brian, zoom so in on this. So here's what we're going to do. These are amazing. Crosstalk, right? Wait, why do so, I not know how our studio let's, works let's anymore? Let's say, first of all, let's say Whoa. thank you to Vance. Thank these you. are Huge beautiful. Thanks, Vance. This is thank awesome. Thank you, Vance. And these dice will live uh, at the studio yeah. so that when, you know, summer session we could use these. And, of course, feature um, when we get to season three, these will be house. Wait, they're only for ages 13 and up. Uh-oh. Carl? It's a good thing you look like a 12-year-old, right? <laughs> in my Harry Styles shirt. Yeah. I went to the Harry Styles concert <laughs> last Brian's night. Brian's here. Oh, yeah. Are we doing the oh, okay, okay. life update? 
That check out their website. It says it on here. No way. Skull Splitter Dice. Dot com. Thank you, focus. Vance. Focus. Focus this way. Focus right. Yeah, this is a shit show. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is awesome. My mom's going to yell at me <laughs> for swearing on the internet. I'm yeah, sorry, on, mom. Um, the sound of crinkling is bothering me. I can't. Oh, Carl, open my deck. Did okay. you get it, Dave? This is awesome. Oh, Everybody has like these gorgeous. These things are wow. beautiful. I'm I'm definitely go check them out. Oh, they're also right on there. Facebook, those Instagram, Pinterest, and, and YouTube. So here's how we're gonna do this. Wow. Envious of those. The heavy dice are gonna so stay good. in the case until somebody, the, whoever gets the first twenty, gets the set. Classic. And then Classic you pass your set. I love oh, these. Are they all green? Whoa, we throw all different colors. Yeah, yeah, mine are blue. Yeah, Heather. I got the yeah, blue. Heather, mine, mine are red. Mine are gorgeous. Go Malte, baby. Go the all color blue. You. No, mine are, my mine are an oh, amazing okay. shade mine are, of green. Oh. Mine too. Mine, mine look like blue mine are like well. silver and like copper. I, I have to say, you guys, the paladin dice will always hold a special place in my heart. But these are dope. These oh, we should do like sick. a side by side Whoa. comparison. Whoa! Okay, skull splitter like, dice hey, are waiting here. Okay. Red. Again. They're like false oh. state, baby. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Who's missing a bag? It's like a ruby. Heather? That's Did mine. You? Oh no, we have an oh, extra. This bag. We have an extra. Yeah, he sent Wait, us six. Yeah. Skull. Oh, They're like uh, Look at greenish. Vince looking out. I know. Bro, it's as if I like Bill's. I like your green ones. Those are cool. All right, switch. But I'll take those murky gold brown ones. Okay. Like a swamp. Okay. I honestly guy? think that the blue are the best. Hey, that's me. No, but look yeah, at Beecher. Beecher's are the best. Dope. Beecher's are cool. Oh, yeah, that's a good combo too. Okay, now that we've I like how done bright these are. I love the color green. Nerding out about our dice. Gift, <laughs> I've never felt like such a. Nerd. I just want to yeah. thank Vance one more time. And then also, in case folks, in case you missed the uh, most recent feedback Friday. Can't wait to bring these to Gen Con. We have players' handbooks <laughs> for the players. <laughs> um, a a fan of the show who you wanted to remain anonymous. So I will only refer to him as the mysterious Mr. M. Sent us three brand new copies of the player. What does the M stand for? Is that his? Ooh. I can't tell you. Mike, Mr. we know it was you. Mike. Mr. Mr. So thank you again, Mr. Uh, M, Mr. for your We got new gift. books. Yes, we got books. And they're so, like really, really nice. Yes. And so to that end, let's transition to leveling up to level two. Wait, what about our life updates? I want to talk okay, about quick life <laughs> update. Carl. Yeah, Make wait. It fast. I want to talk about I'm money. just hanging out. Uh, Done nothing because I built a fence this morning. <laughs> so that's really the height of my summer vacation. What about you, Beecher? What are you up to? Uh, I went to Bonnaroo Music Festival. Woo! Oh, more exciting than mine. Who was, was awesome. the highlight of Bonnaroo? My favorite show was Muse. Oh, they were awesome. So cool. They were Manchester awesome. Manchester Orchestra. Still holding it down them? after all no, these years. Max, um, life updates from Max. So I know a uh, fan favorite, Cooper. Um, I was with them last night. Yeah, uh, you look it was, like it. <laughs> <laughs> it was Cooper's graduation. It was party. his grad party. And All right, we've been friends for ten plus years. So, the tea. Uh, the tea. It's a good celebration. Yeah, maybe we'll call Cooper after this. No, or maybe. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe not. not up. Yeah. He's not up right now. All right, Heather. <laughs> um, my hair is pink. I know someone commented um on the last video what happened to Heather's hair. I did it on purpose. It's pink. Yeah. Um, a Midlife crisis. Yeah. Your yeah. lips are very glossy today, Heather. Yeah, do the cooking Would that be book. because you've used Glossier? Glossier. Oh my God. Um, are you a yes. Glossier representative? Glossier is coming. Well, none of these D and D people know what Glossier is. It's they a makeup. Might. It's a makeup company that I work they for. They will. And you should <laughs> just look at my Instagram because you can get twenty percent off your order. And they're coming to Chicago for a pop-up store because they're an online store. And they have one location, and they have two locations now. Wow. One in LA and one in New York. So, if, so. You, if you look at her Instagram, don't, don't comment on any of the photos, please. She's underage. I just want to. I know I'm 18 now. Okay. Still don't that comment. That was the worst thing you Still could Still don't comment. Yeah. Why would you right. add that but part? But please don't contact me. <laughs> With that, and you went to the Harry Styles concert. <laughs> and I went to the Harry Styles How concert was it? last night. Um, it was like a spiritual experience. Don't. Really? Yeah. Did he play Have like the YouTube some of the comments old one, notice one Direction my music? McDonald's cup yet? He did. He played One Direction songs, which like the whole crowd like just tweaked. Were there, um, what would you say much. the balance demographic was like age wise like 18 year old girls really yeah like the one direction fans that are grown up i wonder if camille was why there. was i not there camille was a huge one Direction. i was a huge one direction <laughs> i'm a one direction fan. yeah 
All right. I'm not. So oh yeah, and if anyone's <laughs> noticed my McDonald's cup, we're still working on the sponsorship. Yep. Yeah. It's in the works. We're getting there. Thanks for listening. Will, so the, the talks, we'll let you know. I would say that the talks of McDonald's have gone to... pretty well. Yeah. I'm not allowed there anymore. I don't. <laughs> well, you know, Carl, sometimes when you go to McDonald's <laughs> for a meeting and then you ask one of the VPs of public relations if he could just get you a double quarter pounder with cheese really oh quick. God, I love double quarter They don't really like that. They don't like that. Yeah. All right. So we're moving on. Carl, yes. you're first up. Speed went round. To, went to McDonald's and asked for a Whopper. That's All right, the next that. person who, now we're in D&D. &D, so I asked for a McChalupa. They said no. Okay, I need to explain this. Sorry. So typically when you gain a level, and you can all look at your different um, yeah. players' handbooks now. Thanks, Mr. M. You look at level two, right, second level, oh, yeah. and you oh, see that so you gain cute. different things on that chart. Now, oh, one thing is <gasps> cool. the first, probably the biggest thing that most people want to gain means? is hit points. Am I a druid? Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> you gain hit points. Oh, my God. Heather, are you throwing away? Sorry. Yeah. Well, um, how am I supposed to know what does what? So if you look at hit points, guys, it'll say hit dice. Carl, what's your hit dice? It's on the left page. Heather, on oh, the left. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm looking hit at Hit dice. At this 1d8 thing. per bard level. What's yours, Heather? So every level you get. Uh, 1d8 like per druid level. Right. Oh. And max? Uh, it doesn't say. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, hit points. <laughs> 1d10 per okay. fire. So what that would mean in any conventional Dungeons and Dragons game is that you'd pick up that dice that they indicate, you roll, and then you'd add that plus your constitution modifier, and that would become your new I hit lost points. You. Okay. So for what? example, Carl would roll a five. What's your con? Oh seven two. So I roll so, a D8. So you'd gain seven more hit points. Holy heck. So your new max would be seventeen. But that's not how we're doing it. Don't write that down yet. Damn it. That's how it would work. Okay. Now, they also, you'll notice that some, like, see how it says hit points at higher levels? 1D something, or in parentheses, it says or something. Or five, yeah. Yeah, or, or five. five. So they, could t they tell you that you could just take the average. So that, I mean, because imagine if you gained a level and you rolled like a two. That would kind of suck, right? Yeah. So you could take a five. Right. Now, in my system, because my world is uh, better. Well, I don't, I don't want to say better. It's but just better. different, and <laughs> it's a lot harder at lower levels because the availability of arcane magic and enchanted items is simply not there. We're really good at this game. Though. So <laughs> you guys um, gain your max. So we already for the have first, one. In, in my first, um, in, in first five levels in my campaign setting, you have max. So you're getting your oh, yeah. eight plus your con modifier. So you get 10 more 10. hit points. So Holy now you're up to 20. 20 points. Heather, yeah. you winning. get eight plus your constitution modifier, which is one. What? So that's nine. So you're up to 18 total. So I'll erase that what? and write down 18 and circle 18 Well, I can just put a there. one in front of it. You get, so what I, do you have right now, Max? What's your max? I have 13. Okay, so you are at 26 now. Because you get 10 plus your plus three for con. Wait, that's yeah. Insane. So 13 and 13 is 26. So erase that, erase that 13 oh, baby. You see and, that? and max it out. Isn't that pretty good? I'm trying to do two. Now, Beecher, I don't know if you maxed it out already, but go ahead and, right. and retcon your first and second levels so that you are we, we officially maxed out. So you should have 10 plus your con, which is what? Three. Okay, so, 30. Three. so you're, well, you're the same as Max. You're at 26. What are, what are we talking about? 26 is your new max hit point. You said we have no attention well, no, I'd, span. I'd be at 24. Why? Or no, sorry, I'd be at 27. Because I already have 14 hit points. How'd you get 14? I'm already level two. <laughs> He leveled up I, made a, I made a level two guy. One. Yeah, but you're a fighter, right? Yeah. So a fighter oh. gets 10 yeah, plus, maxed out plus your con bonus, which is? Three. Three. So you, you would have started at 13. Yeah. Oh, now oh at I see level what you're two, saying. You're, at, you're doubling that. You're up yeah. to 26. Wow. So is it hyper-powered, guys, for me to, wow. to max out people's hit points for the first five levels in my campaign? Probably. Yes, but when you take away all the plus one equipment and all the magic that isn't really available in, in most of my world, then it kind of balances out. So you're a little bit more heroic, but then again, the challenges will be greater because you don't have as much magic backing you up. Yeah. That's why. Can I, I just thought of this and I'd like to yes. have like a side point meta moment. Meta you know, moment. Kinda, um, if anybody wants to send me like a flute, like I will play oh it. I'll play it. Oh I don't God. know how, but like we can learn. You'll play to people's but flutes. I'll play. Flute's send probably you a flute, not that hard. It's not even that. That was you were reaching for that one. Yeah. yeah so send me a flute, like a wooden one, like a D and D flute, All right. or a pipe. I've been trying to get a pipe, like a, like a Gandalf pipe. Either of those things. Thank you. Okay. So, Meta moment I over. I probably have one. So, 
Carl, let's take a look at your player's handbook. Like at level two, sh at level two, you get Jack of All Trades and Song of Rest. I write that on my list of yes. things. Now we're is, gonna. I'm gonna tell you what Jack of All Trades is. Is that a can, cantrip or a spell? It's a, uh, an ability. So oh, you're gonna turn the page and read about Jack of All Trades. Starting at second level, you can add half of your proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability check you make that doesn't already include your proficiency bonus. So I want you to look at your your proficiencies. Yeah, I'm pick really one good. where you don't have a black circle. Oh, um, should I pick a high one or a low one? No, no, it's all of them. Carl. Holy gosh! So anything like Holy look gosh. how see how you have Arcana. Yeah. Now normally you don't you don't have proficiency. In that, no, I don't. But due to Jack of all trades. Half of your proficiency bonus is one. one, so now you get an additional one. For all the white ones? You don't have to fill that I in won't. necessarily, but know that you always get that additional one. So as you go up higher in levels and your proficiency bonus increases, you're just having that and adding it. So basically, Jack of All Trades means a bard can do almost any skill, or at least try to do it. God bless. Good Sounds like me in real life. Now, the second thing that you get, Carl, is Song of Rest. So make sure you write that down under your abilities. Um, Where, Jack of all trades. We're just going to write that here. And then Song of Rest. Beginning at second level, you can use soothing music or oration to help revitalize your wounded allies during a short rest. So I can play the flute and heal Heather? During a short rest, Carl. Uh, so listen, the party takes a short rest. Mm -hmm. Normally, they can use their, their hit die to heal. But your benefit is that if you or any friendly creatures who can hear your performance regain hit points at the end of the short rest, each of those creatures regains an extra 1d6. Wow. Which wow. is huge. That is huge. So write down Song of Rest. Got it. Short Rest, 1d6 HP. Um, and this is the cool part. It scales up as you gain levels. So the extra hit points increase when you reach certain levels to 1d8 at 9th level, 1d10 at 13th, and 1d12 at 17th level. Oh, so shit. that's huge. Seven, wait, level 17? Yeah, it goes people, up to 20. People play this game long enough to yes. get to 17? Bill's been playing for like 40 years. Yes. And this he's is, still only level 10. This is <laughs> <laughs> Bill's only level 3. Actually, the fall of 2018, when we start Season 3, will be my 40th anniversary of playing Dungeons & Dragons. I started wow. playing so when cute. I was 5 years old. Wow. Aww. That's really wow. young. You're 55. Yeah. That's why I'm a legend. All right. Um, Bill, so, you're so old. How Carl, old is, wait, you're 55? No. no. He's like God, 40. Heather, why is oh. math hard for you? <laughs> wait. Wait, what did he say? I how knew I could get someone on that. 45. So 45. 45. I'm 45. I'm 45. I'm 45. I like, your school. math is wrong. <laughs> no, I didn't. Right. So matters. now we will be switching over to Heather and leveling up her druid. All now, right. Heather. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed one thing. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Backtrack. Bye. Bards. Yeah, what's up? So, Carl, yeah. you know how you have spells? <laughs> yeah. You get one more okay. spell known, and you get one more first level spell slot. Where Are you serious? Yes. What's a good spell? You Tell can me. look through that quietly in, in with um, quietly? feature can help you. Where's the you, spells? The bard spells are at the back of the book. Oh, you can pick out another spell that you know, and you get one more spell slot. Now, while you're doing that quietly, I'm going to work with Heather. That's so hard. Heather, you yeah. are, in fact, a druid. And That's druids, weird. at second level, gain mm -hmm. one of the greatest things that makes a druid awesome, which is wild <laughs> shape. So oh, yeah, I saw that. What does that mean? Wild shape means that you can use your action to magically assume the shape of a beast that you have seen before. What? So you can use this feature twice, and then... You gain if you take a short rest or a long rest. You can regain those uses. Definitely not. Okay. So, your druid level determines the beast that you can transform into. So at second level, mm -hmm. you can transform into things that are one quarter challenge rating. And I'll I'll give you Wait. a list that you can write down. Okay, but I have a question. Yeah. So like, if I turn into a wolf, it, like it says, you can, can turn into a could wolf. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would I? Is that just like, like an illusion, or could I actually like attack someone? No, it's you're really the thing. You actually oh become God. a wolf. If you turn into a rat, you actually become a rat. Why would you want to be a rat? Maybe you need to sneak through somewhere that oh. nobody can get into. Start Wait, thinking. So, okay, so I have a question. Oh, yeah. So like if, if there's like, like, like when we were stuck in that jail. Oh, that was a different, that was a car yes. series. But like you when we were stuck in the jail. And gotten out easily. So you get out, but then can I like unshape? Yes, well, you know and then. At any time you want. Okay. So here's how long it lasts. This is what you need to write down in your, your notes on your wild shape. So you could do this for a that number like of hours cool. equal to half your druid level. So one hour. That's how long. But how do we know how long? You then is? revert to your normal form. 
unless you expend another use. Now, you could always revert back at any time. So if yeah. you only need to do something for 10 minutes, you could just yes. boop and you come back. Cute. That means if there's an animal that hates you, While you're you transformed, you. these mm -hmm. things apply. Your if game statistics, really <laughs> shh, whisper. Your game statistics are replaced by the statistics of the beast. So oh. you don't have like these I can't, statistics. Like, thorn with? Oh. You have the Animal beast statistics. statistics, okay? Okay. But you retain your alignment, personality, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. You can also retain all your skill and saving throw proficiencies in addition to gaining those of the creature. If the creature has the same proficiency bonus as you, and the bonus in its stack stat block is higher than yours, use the creature's bonus instead of yours. So you basically get to pick the better of the two. Okay. When you transform, you assume the beast's hit points and hit dice. When you revert to your normal form, you return to the number of hit points you had before you transformed. However, if you revert as a result of dropping to zero hit points, let's say you get knocked out, mm -hmm. you're at zero and you're making death saves, any excess damage carries over to your normal form. Oh. So it's not like you just, like, ooh, I got my ass kicked as a wolf and I revert to a human, or a halfling. Mm -hmm. You revert back to a halfling and you're still unconscious. You're still hit. Okay. Yeah. You retain wow. the benefit of any features from your class, race, or other source, and you can use them if the new form is physically capable of doing so. However, you can't use any of your special senses, senses such as dark vision. But then again, you don't have that because you're a halfling. That. Okay. You Fun. choose whether your equipment fails, uh, falls to the ground in your space, merges into your new form, or is worn by it. So. You don't turn into a wolf carrying a bunch of crap. You basically yeah. turn into a wolf and it becomes some form of you, right? Oh. But you could also choose to just go fuck naked and all your crap just drops to the ground, right? Why would you do that? I don't. Some people would. Maybe you Maybe you want your party members to carry to your it. stuff. I love being naked. That kind of stuff. Now, at your level, you cannot turn into a flying or swimming creature. <laughs> Darn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been I cool. So that. that's at higher level, though. You'd be able to, like, turn yeah. into, like, a... Eagle, when I'm an eighth, wolf. I can be a giant eagle. Right. Like an eagle swim. All right, that's wild form. Now, the other thing, Heather, is druid circle. So at second level, you choose to identify with a circle of druids, the circle of the land or the circle of the moon. Now, there are other oh. circle options in other books, but maybe we'll look at those later. So the idea is that you get these circle benefits. Yeah. Okay. Um, circle of the land, you get a bonus cantrip, you get natural recovery, where you regain some of your stuff during meditation, and you get some circle spells. Circle of the moon, here, you know what? what? You quietly read those things. Yeah, this on is your a own, lot. Because okay. I'm going to work with Max. But yeah. there's one more important thing. You get uh, an additional spell slot. So remember how you had two before? Now you, yeah. you're up to three. So you get an additional spell slot. Um, so take a look at your druid spells. But okay. more importantly, take a look at these druid circles. So flip the page. This way? Yep. And then just read. So there's circle of land and circle of the moon. Just read those. Okay. You don't have to understand what all these spells do necessarily. Yeah. It's more like the vibe that you're going for and the special benefits of those circles. Okay. Max Abrahamson. Yeah. So you are a fighter, which is relatively easy to uh, to level up. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move towards that right now. Okay. Now, the first thing that we dealt with was your hit points. At second uh, yeah. level, you also get what's called the action surge. So yes. on the right side under your notes there, yep. you're going to write down action surge, and I'll explain to you what that is. Basically, at second level, you can push yourself beyond your normal limits for a moment. It's like when an athlete achieves incredible things like adrenaline surge. you know. Yeah. So on your turn, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. Once you use this feature, you must finish a short or long rest before you can use it again. Okay. So a short rest is typically like four hours, a long rest is like eight hours. So um, action surge is one of those things where you kind of want to save it up typically in your yep. back pocket for like if you're going up against serious enemies or like one of your, your friends has been taken down and you need to run over and stop an enemy from killing them, that kind of stuff. But it's pretty amazing. Um... Yeah, that's it. Fighters are pretty easy to level up. That's it? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's cool. you get from um, now you it. took, I think you had the fighting style. What did we write down for your Dueling? fighting style? Dueling, yeah. So that gives you, yeah, that. so you're pretty much covered. 
Now at level three, you're going to get some other bonus things. That's where you get in your martial archetypes, but we're not quite there yet. One day. So, <clears throat> um, in 40 years, we'll be there. Wait, yeah. what level are you? What day is it today? Uh, I've played so many games and so many different characters that oh, it's hard to tabulate that. You keep, like, the restarting? longest running that yeah, I've done, what's, though. Like, the highest you've ever so been? the guys' gaming weekend where I meet up with all the yeah. college buddies for a weekend of That's grilling so cute. and I love food that. and gaming That'll be us. And drinks is um, we go to school together. We have yeah, played old. so much that we did what's called remorting, which is a term that we took from online gaming. It's basically our characters maxed out, and then uh, yeah. we went to another plane of existence and were kind like of like reborn, started. but we had the same soul. So we retained the memories from our previous lives and adventures. Like yeah, and then but we <laughs> but we start off, and sometimes uh. we re, we remort as a new race and a new class. Sometimes cool. it's remorting as the same race and class, but just at like level one. Yeah, that, that's so actually cool. We've been many places. What's like the highest? Level though. My oracle. Is there a highest level in D and D? Yeah. Well, 20. in fifth, twenty. Yeah. Oh. Um, we can get there. When I was like eight years old, I had a ninety-first level human cleric. His name was Pink Floyd. Of oh course, my God. When you're eight years old, it's all cheating. So, I was gonna say you know, like. But. Um, just an animal. Yeah, my first character was Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, that sounds cute. familiar. What is that? Is that a movie? It's, it's a band, bro. I, I'm so <laughs> glad you're joking, because if you weren't, I'd have to stab you with a pencil. All right, so, <laughs> oh my God. Heather, Carl you're, like, you're going to pick your done. circle, which will give you some abilities. Okay. But right now, um, we're going to, That's garbage. I just want to make sure that you guys kind of all have your characters done. Yes. You've leveled up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, we're here. We're, we're, we're going to end this episode. Um, Wait, what? We're doing another episode. Yeah, we're going to have oh. pizza and then we'll come back. Yeah. Well, but more importantly, Fun let me just over. say this. I'll, I'll do a it's transitional okay. element so that this makes sense. Okay. So right. you guys, remember that you made a deal with the Reeve of Dario oh. Larchery and the High Priestess mm -hmm. that you would stay at the temple until they heard back, right? Oh, yeah. From, yeah. from For the week. capital. A week. The, cap the capital, right. So many days go by, you guys heal up. Um, you're actually invited to participate in a few, like, things around town. Um, most of the the Why? mayhem that you caused, Carl, um, <laughs> Me? was really just, like, structural damage. Oh, cool. So, like, a few buildings that got hit by lightning. But they don't and, think that was me, right? Well, they, they don't know that. They think that was but, God. But they do presume, <laughs> like, there's... There, you kind of like over the next few days, like get whispers that like people in town kind of think that something happened with Vusek because Water. someone somehow angered Vusek, right? No. But um, in terms of like you guys, you know, being around town, you, you kind of don't really leave the temple very much. Um, but you're kind of getting rumors from visitors who come to the temple and stuff. And there's a lot. Like, remember all the people that were in town for the wine festival? Yeah. So they're stranded because their ship got sunk. Oh. So Good a job, lot Carl. of those people make alternate like I you know that. plans, but basically you guys spend the week. It's pretty peaceful. The, t the town begins rebuilding, mm -hmm. and then you hear back. Um, the Reeve returns, and he said that he's he's gotten word from the capital, and the the magistrate for this region has said that you guys um, need to basically atone for what happened to make up for what happened. Yeah. And there's a favor that you could do for the crown. Okay. Um, there is a um, niece of His Most Holiness. Of, Carl, of, you got this. Yeah, there's she's a. My, she's, Carl. Carl, slow down. She's right. dragonborn. Never mind. So oh. I mean, we'll she, see. Is, she, she is dragonborn. She is a niece <laughs> okay, of, <laughs> of the okay. chosen. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the leader yeah. of this entire country. Her, her niece. His niece. Yes. So she is effectively like a princess, but it's not really a monarchy. A princess? It's, you, you got this. It's power. kind of, you know. Um, so <laughs> she needs to be escorted oh, because goodness. that ship was sunk, right? Yeah. So she needs to be escorted <laughs> to back to the capital. Okay. Um, and of course, she has her own cadre. <laughs> she she has like, bodyguards. She, needs, yeah, she has ooh. servants. It's like... There are like four, it's like a caravan of like four wagons. It's like Milan soldiers. too, the second right. Milan. Yeah. But the you guys, it's, it's okay. you guys have some unique insights into those who might be a threat and therefore um, 
you've been asked to escort her. And Drake's coming along? Um, Drake has been asked to go because um, mm -hmm. the high priestess is entrusting him with a gift to the crown uh, on behalf of Vusaig. Okay. So he's know. escorting that. Who's this guy? Well then, you are introduced to a dwarf named Grimble. And the reason why he's been brought in is... because he already knows Milo from the past. No. No? Oh. Um, no. <laughs> How he, the, the reason why he's like been brought in is there is a threat mm -hmm. um, between where you are and where the capital is, is a lot of open ground. And there is a dwarf barbarian horde that has been moving through that area. And Grimble has encountered them before. Oh. They're called the Koshin. And the Koshin are I think the Jewish people dangerous eat. and... Not only are they barbarians, but a lot of times, <laughs> oh my God. Know what's wrong with a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times, <laughs> so stupid. The, these barbarians are known for like raiding and uh, kidnapping people and then ransoming them, and that's oh. how they like finance their their tribe basically. That's so they're they're not just like friendly barbarians; they're like. <laughs> They're kind of bandit barbarians. I miss Matt. Um, so, and Grimble knows like kind of how they operate and how they, how they, how their mm -hmm. camps work and stuff. So he's kind of almost like your advanced scout. Like he's oh. basically leading the the way through hopefully what will be safer passage to get back to the capital. Um, and you've been told that like if you conduct this successfully, that the crown will reward you. Oh yes. And and your pardons will also be complete. So you're given a couple days to pack up, um, and then you'll be introduced to the princess and then your adventure will begin. And that is where we're gonna stop this episode Wait, of I have something to say. D and D summer sessions. I have something to say. Hashtag. Okay, I have summer. three things to say. Okay. One, thank you, Skull Splitter. Yes. I really like these dice. Thank you. Two, thank you, Vance. Thank you, Vance. Vance. Two, um, I want to apologize to my mom for swearing on the internet because she's going to yell at me. And three, me too. Um, right. The pizza's here. We have to cut. Bye. Bye. Bye.